is an absolute disaster area. Like everything is all over the place. It's really frustrating me. Like I really want to do maybe a cleaning montage later. I still need for John to take this um, long couples desk that we just got that has been kind of a, a collect all table right now. He needs to take it up to work while it's Christmas break and uh, cause we work at a school. Then he can sand it, finish it, you know, do all the stuff he has to do. And then we'll have our couple's desk, which will be a really, really cool area where we can like do our computer nerdy things together. But all that has got to go. It's got to go. You know, working with kids, they're so sweet. Like that's what makes it hard about if I ever decide to do a different job is I really like the job that I'm doing and I really like working with kids. So if I wanted to go back to school and get my degree so I can be a teacher instead of a teacher's aide, but I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I'm too old to go back to school, which is stupid, I know, because like people go back to school when they're retired because they want to go do something else. And I'm only 25, 26 soon. But here's some really sweet things that I got. But look at this cute cup. It's great because I love my teas and my drinks and my stuffs. Cute. These nails though, not cute. I got some Mexican cookies, a red velvet cupcake from or it's a cupcake bunt cake. Candies. I also got lots of like random little snick snacks that were in a um, basket together, but we kind of already ate through a lot of it. This is just random, randomness. The whole kitchen's a mess. Don't look at it. Don't look. Don't look at it. It is Thursday. I already went to work all day. I'm actually really tired, even though I seem like I'm really hyper. So Alex is about to pick me up, and we're gonna go buy some random things. Um, Christmas wise because I need to get some little gifts for my coworkers. I have to get, um, I don't know, just some random little gifts for my mom and my stepmoms and my dad and people, just stuff. And it's not that I don't like to buy gifts. I just, I don't know what to get. I don't know what to get that they will love on the budget that I'm on. I feel bad because it's like I want to get them something extravagant, something amazing, but I just, I don't have the money to do it. And I know it's about the thought that counts and it's not how much the gift costs, but it's like, I wish I could have the best of both worlds. <gasps> and Mochi got his Christmas gift in the mail. Well, one of his, one, I cannot speak today, but he got one of his little Christmas gifts in the mail, and it's funny when your dog's Christmas gift is actually in a bigger box than um, your husband's Christmas gift. So we'll unbox that later. Then maybe I'll get something for you, Kenny. Meow. Oh, you're gonna walk away. And I'm sorry that you've already seen me wear this shirt, like, a couple times, but um, you can only wear Christmas shirts for like six weeks and then no more. So I'm gonna get the most usage out of my Christmas shirt that I can. Hi. Alex is lazy today, thus the glasses. I need to stop looking at the screen. Yeah, you always look at the screen, you should look at the eyeball. That's how I look at it. It's an eyeball, you gotta look at the eyeball. So, we're going to the stores. I like you should do that weird little cut that you should do, go like that. And then the new thing that they go like that. Yeah, it's a new scene. Do the hand thing. See? These eyebrows need to get did. I mean, they're crazy. I have a unibrow right now. Do you? Let's look at it up on no. close on no, camera. Thank you. I got a lot of socks. Like a lot of socks. Where is the vehicle? Before I leave. Wait, show them what I got you. Look at his sweater. What do you think of your sweater? Pretty cool. Pretty ugly. Cool. Why are you taking it off? I don't know, so you can wrap it because it's a Christmas present. No, you can have it so you can get to use it. Because if I give it to you at Christmas, then you can only wear it that day and then you're done with it. You get to use it and get to have it. I'm hungry. What are we eating? No, McDonald's doesn't sound that bad. You know what? <laughs> what? We were just in Walmart. They have McDonald's there. And I was like, I'm hungry. Do you want to just get something from McDonald's? No. Okay, so we're super hungry. So we're stopping at Burritos. He doesn't want to get his grandma sweater dirty. Look both ways, kids. Look both ways. You wouldn't want to get hit by a car. I want to get hit by a car. You want to? Please. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get a 
Copyright strike. Turn your music down. Thank you. Did you sing this, please? Yes. So excited for food. Oh, look, it's nice and festive. And it's like a good hike, too. So we're gonna take this food home, eat it, and then finish our errands. What do you want for Christmas? My two front teeth. Money. Send me money. My P.O. box is. <laughs> hey, it would be cool to have a P.O. box one day. I'm getting my halo light pretty soon. I'm excited about that. Look at the sunset. Oh, this sunset is so far away. Yeah, you can see it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, have a good day. You too. We're in the filming studio, or aka the back room. We're gonna eat our foods. So I almost left my um my lens cap and burritos, but I went back and it was there. What'd you get? Mmm, chicken and cilantro and rice and cheese. Mmm. There should be lettuce on there. Grey's Anatomy. Food. So it's a couple days later. I went to Target yesterday. And I finally found a really cute little planner. So excited. Here. Let's flip to January. Oh, the pin's there. Look how cute that is. So I really wanted to get kind of the smaller version of this. But I was too late to the game and they were all bought. So we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby in a little bit. And I am going to get like some cute little planner stickers. I'm getting excited about stickers, but that's me. Guys, I've been obsessed with Animal Crossing lately. You see him wearing a little Christmas outfit? Here's my house. Go inside. <laughs> Welcome to my house. Let me do an MTV crib tour. And there's my bed. And my fishing tournament trophy. And my jukebox with no music in it. And my genie lamp. And my pink desk. And my lamp. My closet. And a desk. That's my refrigerator, because this will eventually, I guess, be my kitchen. Well, thanks for coming to my crib, and now you have to leave. And then I made myself a little path of flowers. If I didn't mention it before, I actually got this DS not that long ago. It was like a limited edition DS, and I got John a white one. And I've been playing Animal Crossing, and that's like the only game I've been playing lately. I do have some Mario games, and maybe I'll play those later, but I get really frustrated with those kind of games because I feel like you can't ever really win. I mean, of course you can a couple levels, but then I get stuck and then I get frustrated. Yeah. Feel on Amazon already. That is cute. That's cute. It's like a lot, but if I have a coupon, it'll be a lot less than that. I was gonna buy one of these planners, but it's an 18 month planner. So it started in 2016. So what this means is six months of this planner has already gone by. So it didn't make sense to buy a planner that a third of it's already over. So there's a purple tea drink. Passion iced tea with soy milk, vanilla syrup, and a scoop of blackberries. And it looks really pretty and purple. I got these stickers with stars and then one with paw prints. Because I want to do like a sticker chart for me of like the days I eat good and the days I go like exercise or walk or go to the gym. And I, I don't know if I'm going to do paw prints as like the days I exercise and stars as the days I eat good or vice versa. Because I think it'll help me have an incentive. Oh, we're I want the purple drink. So you want to go inside? Tell them purple drink. So they should know what the purple drink is. Hi, do you know what the purple drink is? Okay, well let me try this. Can I get the passion iced tea with soy milk, vanilla syrup, and a scoop of blackberries? You guys, something didn't turn out right. That's not purple. I mean, it tastes alright. I think next time we 
we should go in. That's what I told you the first time. <laughs> I didn't want to go in. I wanted to go home and play with my planner. <laughs> this is my mom's car. Oh my God. <laughs> Though she just moved shops, and you guys, if you live in uh, Clear Lake or Houston, you should go check her out. What's it called? Clarity Spa. Clarity Spa. She's awesome, right? <laughs> so we're on our way to go pick up Jeffrey for dinner. Hi mom, she's not even driving her own car. <laughs> John's driving the car, but she's tired. Is it nice to have a chauffeur, mom? Yes. Totally. Yes. Uh, too bad there's not like champagne back there, huh? I know, right? <laughs> See you, Jeffrey. Hey. It's getting dark. Jeffrey's gonna clean my house. Jeffrey's gonna, gonna clean the house. <laughs> Yeah, 50 bucks an hour. Oh, whatever. See, that's why I want um, Alex. <laughs> Alex, come help me. Highway robbery. You know. It's 50 bucks an hour. <laughs> and I'm going to work slowly if it's 50 bucks an hour. I'm not going to work fast. Alex, please, come clean my house. You know, there's the whole supply and demand thing. So if he thinks a lot of people really need him, he's going to spike up the price. OK, spike it up, $10 an hour. We're going to Gringo's. Gringo's. <laughs> so there's a little bit of a wait. Jeffrey got some ice cream. John got some ice cream. I get ice cream, but then I probably won't eat my food. This is like a warm up. <laughs> Jeffrey will eat his food. Look how Christmassy it is. Hey, you're coloring on your face. Okay, there we go. Still waiting. So I didn't vlog dinner, but I did go to Walmart and the kitties this little toy so let's see how they like it I feel like this vlog has been all over the place today, which is kind of like my brain. So I got Mochi Boy, a couple little Christmas gifts. Um, so one of those things is his bark box, but I'm gonna unbox that in a separate video. Another thing I got him, this awesome pizza at Target. Oh my goodness. Where are you going? Bring me the pizza. Oh, who's excited? <laughs> hey! to throw in the wash which is a big reason why I wanted to get it um, I wanted to get him an extra bed that would be like real plush and something that I could possibly put on the tile and it would still be really soft I think he likes it what do you think what I was doing before was I had a comforter and I stuffed a pillow in it and I wrapped it in a sheet so I could just take the sheet off and wash it. To me, I mean, maybe it's just because I spoil my dog, but, or my dog, but the bed just didn't seem thick enough to put by itself on a hard surface. Like, I feel like after a while, like, it would, the dog would be sore, or like, it wouldn't really be enough, like, plushiness for the dog to lay on, especially since 
we're on such a hard surface. What I did was I folded up the comforter and then I put the dog bed on top of it and then now it's like really soft and plushy and it kind of reminds me of like what a mattress is for me. Mochi, go bed. Good boy. I hope you like your bed, Mochi. Well, I think that's it tonight for the vlog, but thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Bye. Say bye.